Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Minecraft. And then I can climb back up onto here, we run along and we find the next slot. So the last one we put in was the red one, so we want to go here. The next on the list is pink, so we go pink glass in there. This one is uh, magenta glass. That one is purple glass. That one there is the brown glass. And then we can run round very quickly up onto the top. Actually, there's one thing that I just want to double check. We should have the plain glass next to it. It's a brown. And I've already put plain glass in there. And that one's already sorted. So we definitely got those all in the right places. The one thing with the item sorter is worth taking the time to make sure you've got everything in the right slot. Because... Um, once you've got it all set up, it then it's like really, really easy to use and go around and do all the different things. It is dropping through there and I want brown in there. And then I look over here. There, a little bit of lag. Uh, glass, plane. glass plane in there. So we, we've got everything in. So now I just run around over here and hope that Sen isn't trying to destroy the server with lag. We've got everything in there. And no, I only do thing. 32 at a time. Because right. it's um, less laggy. Right, there's a torch gone in there, which we want to take out. There's the other reason for checking every chest, is to make sure that we don't have any unwanted guests in any of the chests. So that is all working fine. Everything up to this point right here, I've got everything over there, and we've also got all of the carpets. I've put plain terracotta, I've marked it on there. That's the next thing that I want to do now. So I'm just going to do the terracottas that I've got. So I've got all of these terracottas here. I'm just going to take one of each terracotta to start with. Like this. Oops. Uh, there, there, and there. So that's all of the glazed terracottas. That's why we've got these pillars here. Because the glazed terracottas are the ones that are going to go on the top. And we'll put the plain terracotta down the bottom. So I want to go up here, and I need to make sure that I do it in the correct order. So according to my list, I want white, and then a light grey, which is that one, and then grey, which is that one, and then black, which is that one for the first four. So we'll put these, one here, that one, that one, and I can't reach that one. That one there, because we're having the plain terracotta here... And we've got the plain glass and the plain pane of glass over there. That one is going to stay empty. So what we'll do is we'll get... I'll show you what we do to stop that one from being able to be active in a minute. Uh, right, what's next on the list? We want light blue. I'd also like to put out a pattern of all of these. We will, I won't, I'm not going to do that yet. I'm not going to do that now. But I'd like to put a pattern somewhere to demonstrate each of the different colours of the um, terracottas. Because I actually quite like them. We've seen a few of them already in previous videos. But we haven't seen all of them. So we want to go light blue, cyan, blue, green. Then it's going to be lime, yellow orange and red going over this way uh, yellow orange and red and then finally we have pink magenta purple and brown I'll put these down through here like this there and that means that I can go and remove these like that get them out of the way it makes life a little bit easier uh then on the bottom line we want to do something very very similar but we want to do it with the plain terracotta so i'm just going to again i'm going to take one of each of them and then i'm going to go and stick them in the item frames in the correct order and then i will need to go up round the back but i've already shown you going up round the back with the glass so i'm not going to worry you with the details of that I will just, uh, actually, I'll, I'll carry on and do this a minute. The, the, the terracottas, the colours of them is very, very much different to the colours of anything else. And I, it, it's quite remarkable, I think, the, the different shades that you get. Oh, that's cyan. That's completely wrong. Um, so what's light grey? That's cyan. Light blue, blue. Light grey there. 
See, light gray doesn't look anything like gray at all. I mean, then white doesn't really, does it? That's gray and that's black, although that just looks brown. It's very strange, the, the, the coloring of these. So we want light blue, then the cyan, which does look very gray. Blue and green. Put that one, that one, that one, and that one. And then we go with a lime, yellow, orange, and red. Very, very muted colors, these, aren't they? When we're going to go out and we're going to deal with that concrete powder in a second, and the difference between the terracottas and... The, I mean, even just the terracottas and the wool, but I think the, the concrete is one of my favorite building materials. I really, really like the concrete. I think it's absolutely fantastic. It's so bright, and um, it, it sort of... I don't know. It's it's there's just something about the the concrete that's so much more vibrant than that. Th those are very very muted. I mean they they're nice. I do like them. I I do like the glazed ones a little bit better. But the the concrete powder that's quite incredible. Have we got any buckets here, Sen? Um I don't think we do, have we? I don't think so. Uh iron, iron. We want a little bit of iron. I don't need much, just a couple of blocks. No, there's none in here. There's some iron. Right. We'll take a couple blocks of iron like that. And... What do you want me to do? Well, we're going to go and do this um, concrete powder now. So I wanted to have a little bit of fun with that. So I've got some buckets. So if you come with me. You need to bring a pick. Uh, actually, i tell you what, Sen. It might be a good idea if you start moving. You've got this beacon over here. Yeah. And it, it reaches part of the concrete powder, but it doesn't reach all of it. Do you want me to move it over? Yeah, if you were able to move it over and just sort of plonk it down very, very close, just here where I'm standing now, just this side, yeah. that would be very awesome. And as for the water, I was kind of thinking... I've, I'm torn over whether we should just dump water on top or whether we should build a moat around the edge. And I think building a moat around the edge could actually sort of make this a little bit more fun, a little bit more interesting. And it will let us see the contrast of colours as the water goes through and changes everything, which I thought would also be quite a cool thing to see. So I'm just going to have a bite to eat a minute. And then I'm going to take stone and I'm going to put it down with a one block gap between the concrete powder and the stone that I'm placing down. So this one block gap will allow us to put a one block wide, uh, a one block um, moat of water all the way around all of this concrete powder. That's the idea here. Let's just fill in that one. Uh, so let me just finish this up a second, and then I'll go and get a few buckets of water as well, so that we can start putting our moat all the way around. Have you got any more iron, so that we can do the haste thingy again? Have you got another beacon? Huh? No, but don't I need to redo it? You don't need more Once iron. Once I've moved it. Yeah, but you won't need any more iron. You've got, you'll have enough no, for the pyramid No, you know, there. the... When you choose which you oh, want. Oh, that. Uh, yeah. No, I don't, actually. We need, we need a bar of iron for that. Uh, I can get some. I guess... Let me just have a look over here. I'm not sure. I, I Actually, I have got some in a... Um, I can get some easy enough. I've got not some far. here somewhere. I was just wondering if there was anything sat in any of these chests. There is a half a stack of chests over here. And there's another two chests right there. Okay, so there's none here, but what we could do is just crack open one of these emerald things and use an emerald. Although that does seem expensive. I tell you what, I believe I actually have some in my ender chest. So let me have a look at... Yes, oh, okay, right. I found some. Okay. Uh, you, you only want one bar, don't you? Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, put that one up. Right. I've got the bar that you'll need in a minute. I'm just going to go and get some water. Okay. Run down over here. How far away? We've got to go for water now. We'll build an infinite water source up here somewhere, and we'll leave it here. Because uh, 
yeah, we're getting further and further away from the water these days. There's six buckets of water. We probably don't need six buckets, but... Well, why not? Okay, so we've got... The berries are going to be there, so I'll build an infinite water source just here. It's working. Eh? Well, it's just lit up. Yeah, but, but you haven't got a, um, a boost on it at all, though, have you? Well, not yet. No, but this. I just wondered why it's doing it when I haven't done a whole pyramid. Uh, because you've done a part of a pyramid. You've actually got on there the one uh, one layer pyramid. So it's actually, it, it'll light up. So if you've got nine blocks directly underneath it, yeah, it'll light up. Um, the light itself won't change. Uh, it, it makes no difference to the size of the pyramid. So long as it's sitting on nine of the correct types of blocks, it will yeah. light up. So we can stick some of these beacons on top of our um, emerald pyramid over there and they would also light up. Um, but you need to fill it out. I mean, the emerald pyramid would actually be a proper pyramid now. Uh, yeah. But this one, this one will light up with just the nine and then once you've filled it out all the way on the bottom, here, you can have this one. Once you fill it out all the way at the bottom, uh, then you'll have the options to do everything. All right. Okay, so I now want to have water buckets. I don't know if I use a water bucket, but we're just going to drop one in here a minute. And you can see the difference in the color straight away. I love the way that transition happens and the, the sharp contrast between the two. We're not going to be using concrete powder for any building, so that's why we're not going to bother putting it. If we make concrete powder, we will just turn it into concrete. Um, but I absolutely love the color change in it. It's so awesome. And th this is what I want to do. I want to have this color change thing going on so that then when we start digging them out, it will move in towards the middle and it's going to look really, really cool. So I'm going to get a few buckets of water like that. And then what we're going to do is just let that go up through there. I'm going to go along now and I'm just going to fill in the rest of the water on this bit right here. So I just want to fill in these buckets. And because I've got the mod that uh, automatically restocks my hand, it also automatically restocks stocks the buckets of water which I've got to say is one of the finest things that has ever happened to me. I've not had this before, and this is just fantastic. Having Not, not having to scroll through the constant buckets of water is genuinely amazing. All right, let's go over here. It's this pink right here, the, the contrast on that. That's so cool, I love it. I mean, the, the whole thing here does look quite impressive. You're so easily pleased. Yeah, but I mean, look at it. You've got to admit, that does look pretty good. That that sort of the, the ring that's growing around the edge of this. Um, yeah. Right. I'm glad you agree. You don't sound like you meant it, but we'll just pretend that you did. We'll pretend for once that you care. Okay. Hmm. Nice anniversary gift for you. Thank you very much. It's my and Sen's anniversary today. Not our wedding anniversary, because we both usually forget that one. Um, but our the day, the day that we first met was the 25th of August. The first day I ever laid eyes on her. That worst... was far too many years ago. Yeah. Worst thing that ever happened to me. Uh-huh. Sure. Um, right. We're going to have this water go all the way round, and then once we've got the moat that goes all the way around then we will start digging um concrete right the way through but actually what i'd like to do sen is before any digging commences i want to get up onto the side somewhere so that i've got a bit more of an aerial view and i'd like you to do the digging first okay and uh you're gonna work and i'm gonna watch shocker i know right i know that's um, so different to usual. I know, right? Basically, I want to see what it looks like as you start sort of going into all of the different bits of water here. Uh, one, two, and 
three buckets there so you can start putting some water around as well. If you've got the hand <laughs> refill thing, it works really, really easily. It's, it's brilliant. What? You, you've got the automatic hand restock, yeah? So, fill up your buckets like that. Now go over and start placing the buckets in uh, for the water. Just place one down. See, you don't have to scroll through change buckets at all. They just automatically load oh. into your hand. Yeah. So, doing it like this means that when you are placing water down, you can go along and have, like, 50 buckets. Well, 20 buckets, because you can't carry 50, but uh, you get the point. And you, you can have a whole load of them in your inventory, and you can run along and do all of them. Um... Uh, you, you can place them all down without having to constantly open up your inventory to access all of the buckets. Which is the single most frustrating part of doing anything with water. But this... This is wonderful. Uh, that's it. It's all done. Right, so I want to just step up onto the side a minute. Hang on. Uh... I'm going to go up onto the bridge up here, and then I'd like you to sort of come a little bit closer to the bridge. What, do the bottom line? And, hang on a minute, let me go into free cam so that we can get a better view of it. That looks really awesome. Okay, that genuinely looks amazing, that stripiness that we got going on there. Uh, hold on one second. Right. Start digging, Sen. Just start sort of randomly going through and digging whichever way you want to, I guess. And we'll see what happens. Um, can you go now go sort of start going in towards the middle a bit? What, this way? Yeah, like work, work your way in so it sort of breaks into some of the other colours. It's really cool the way that it changes, that the, the colour is changing as it goes through. I don't think you better go much further than that because you'll need the, the actual water. But that that does look very awesome. Right. Okay. I can't stay here and watch Having you out. work all day. Yeah, you have to keep going. Keep working. No, I mean with the random bit inside, I can just go around the edge now. Uh, if you really want to. I don't know why you don't want to just continue being random. It's I mean, slower. Yeah. It is a little bit slower, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to try and make them meet in the middle here. Except they don't want to. We can make them... We, we, we can do these bits over here. <gasps> yes! We've met! Look at this! And then if you break it all off... What we eventually get is all of the water flowing in towards the middle. We can take all of this lot out here. Like that. And this is a bit here that I want to break off. Because this is what I actually really, I really, really like this with the water. Is the way that the water then goes across and just sort of makes a pond. It's really cool the way it does that. Right, I'm going to go along uh -oh. this way. What? I just dug a hole, but it's only a layer deep. Oh, so right. it's just... Yeah, all, we don't want All wanna... the water's flowing into a cave. There we go. Uh, you might want to either free cam or run down there and check and make absolutely certain that we haven't lost any bits of concrete, because there's exactly one stack of each type of concrete. I mean, yeah, admittedly, it doesn't matter if we lose, like, one or two blocks, but I'd still prefer not to. No, I lost a couple of candles. Candles? candles. Torches. Oh. We're going to make yeah. candles, Sen, which means that we're going to need a whole load of wax from beehives. Uh, however, I'm thinking we'll just kind of stick with the beehives that you've already gone and made and we won't attempt to make any new beehives and we definitely won't attempt to make a bee farm because okay. we've got this issue with 1.18 coming out and potentially breaking everything 
we've got to be we do have to think about what we're going to build because we've sort of gone and built this massive great big item sorter and it has dawned upon us that we may have to rebuild the entire thing in just a couple months time and we don't really want to have to do that with everything we go and build so we're taking this into account with the next few builds that we do we're going to sort of do ones that are reasonably easy and we're going to keep an eye on 1.18 i'm going to start sort of keeping a much closer eye on it as well and see whether or not there is any chance that we can convert um as some of you know we have been having some strange happenings going on with our server anyway uh, which means that there's likely a bit of chunk corruption here somewhere. Yeah, I think we're going to end up having to change um, worlds anyway. Yeah. Um, so it, there's the distinct possibility that our server has got some chunk corruption going on. Um, we keep getting blocks go missing. In yeah, I think the... there's some more missing. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to go over and have a quick check around in a minute and we'll see if there's anything new cuz I I've, I've gone and put down like a uh, a test area just to see if anything goes missing on that, but we've got like just odd blocks disappearing here and there. And from what I've been able to find out, odd blocks going missing here and there is a symptom of chunk corruption. Now, at the moment, it's only happening in the spawn chunks. We've not had it happen anywhere else. Although, admittedly, I haven't been to the slime farm in a very, very long time. So, whether there's something has happened out that way, I'm not quite sure. We'll have to go and check that at some point. But, I doubt it, because we would have noticed it in the other places we've been, surely. Well, that's the odd thing with chunk corruption, is sometimes it will only affect some chunks, and you can repair it by resetting those chunks and only those chunks. Now I don't particularly want to have to reset any chunks on the server because... How do any... you reset them? Uh, I think it's a command that you've got to use. Oh right. Right, we've got a... Why is there a block missing there? Oh, I think it's a dirt block. Right, well, I'll put in a dirt block. And we run up through here. Now, we've got a nice little lake here, which means we're going to have to fill the lake up. Or we'll use sponges. Well, we're going to... Yeah, that's next, uh, isn't yeah. it? We are uh, going... Yeah, that, that will be the next thing that we do, is the, the temples. Ten, can you bring the concrete over here and put it into this one? Yeah. Uh, hang on a second. Let me uh, put the white in first, please. And I want the light grey. So I've got white, uh, then grey, black... Uh, light blue, cyan, blue, green, lime, yellow, orange, red, pink, uh, magenta next, please. You should have all of that. Yeah, uh, purple and brown. Ta -da! Ideal. One full stack of everything. Fantastic. Okay, so there's the concrete done. Let's go and take a quick look. You said you thought there were some more blocks missing, Sen. Yeah. Where? Um, right, we're just going to have a quick look at the house. So we've got these four missing here, which we know about. And Enderman... Ooh. Oh, no, maybe not. There I is I... two missing inside the house behind the table. But I don't know if they were missing already. They're possibly they were missing already. Up here. Up where? Seems we're doing things. I'm sure that it's the side of the building there. Yeah. You see where the dirt is? There's like... Oh, where there's a pillar of it, and it's sort of stuck out to the side. Um, no, I mean the... Like here. I wouldn't have just left, like, a random... Oh, yeah, there's like bits going weird there. Yeah. Hmm. And then there's... Is this hole bigger? Here? Uh... Hole... Oh, what, down here in the ground? Yeah, like this bit here. Uh, I don't know. I don't even remember seeing that one. We so could do it with filling up all the bits that, you know, we think are missing. Yeah, these and lines of... Back... We've, we've got all of these um, uh, torches as well, sort of 
lines of them put around. This is basically where Sen can reach. Uh, for some reason, the server just decided one day randomly that she was no longer able to do anything in these four chunks here, which are the actual center spawn chunks. And randomly decided that she wasn't allowed to do anything in here, but we definitely didn't leave it like this. So there's some very weird stuff going on, and from what I can find out, this does appear to be um, chunk corruption. So we've got some corrupted chunks here, and it looks like it's affected quite a number of the um, chunks as well, because we've got like these weird bits going on here. There's bits of the house are going missing. Um, there's, so we've got two more that are missing there, and that does actually seem to be fresh, that one. Uh, upstairs, it doesn't look like there's anything. Fortunately, it doesn't... Oop, that's coming for me, I That's expect. for you. Yeah, okay. Uh, fortunately, it doesn't actually seem to be any issues with the library at the moment. The library, however, is something that, again, we don't really want to have to rebuild, much like the sorting system. However, we may not have any choice. We may have to rebuild the entire thing on a brand new server when 1.18 comes out. Now, I suspect I know what may have originally caused the chunk corruption. Uh, yeah. It might... Yeah, me. Um, being inexperienced with moving files around. There may have been some issues with the save already when I was first setting up the server um, and a few other little bits going on as well. So that there's a number of reasons that we could have sort of ended up with this going on. But we're keeping a close eye on it. And that's also why we don't want to have any big builds now anywhere near the spawn chunks. We want to keep everything away from the spawn chunks. It doesn't look like we've had any problems at all. Not that uh, anywhere other than just the spawn chunks. So, so long as it remains as just the spawn chunks, it's going to be all right. We're, we're not going to mind so much. Now, what I'm going to do here is not open the crafting table. I want to do that. And once again, I want to just move these buckets out of the way. Glass, stone, phantom membranes, all this other stuff. And I'm going to sort out all of the concrete, put it into there, and then we're going to start loading up item frames, uh, the, the sorters. It just went off and we've done a few different things. Uh, so far we haven't noticed any more of the strange affliction that is slowly consuming our world here in different places. At least we don't think we have, but there's no telling really. So I wonder if I can... No, I cannot get through that tunnel. Uh, <laughs> just get through the tunnel. Um, so I'm just going to head back over to the base. Uh, Sen, why don't you tell everybody about your latest adventure? Um, it's not really an adventure. I'm working on the tunnels in the nether. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. To link to another video, the link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.